Six NATO countries are planning to develop a drone wall to bolster their defence against Russia following a series of provocations, including forced migration and attempts to alter borders. Over the weekend, ministers from Finland, Norway, Poland and the three Baltic states discussed creating a coordinated drone system along their borders with Russia to prevent smuggling, further provocations and to enhance defence. NATO countries on the alliance's eastern flank will enhance their defence against unfriendly countries with unmanned vehicles, according to Lithuania's interior minister, as the war in Ukraine accelerates drone development. This is a completely new initiative, a drone border from Norway to Poland aimed at protecting our frontier using drones and other technologies, Lithuania's interior minister Agna Bielotate told the domestic news agency BNS. The drones will complement physical barriers and surveillance systems to help protect against provocations from unfriendly countries and prevent contraband, Bielotate said. The wall will also include counter-drone technology, regional media reported. The more than two-year war in Ukraine has driven rapid advancements in airborne, land-based and waterborne drones. Unmanned technology dominates the skies over Ukraine, with Moscow and Kyiv striving to outpace each other. The project is unique in its scale. Drone surveillance and anti-drone capabilities are essential for deterrence and countering the influence activities of our eastern neighbor. Drones play a critical role in the conflict in Ukraine, from reconnaissance to kamikaze drone strikes and directing artillery fire. As seen in Ukraine, adversaries constantly race to develop new drone technologies and innovative uses in warfare. Lithuania's State Border Guard Service has established a new drone unit currently acquiring drones and counter-drone systems, Bilitate said, according to Lithuania's LRT news agency. NATO countries in Eastern Europe, closest to the borders of Ukraine and Russia, as well as Kremlin ally Belarus, have pledged to increase defence spending. Ukraine has warned that if it loses its war against Russia, Eastern European states could become Moscow's next targets. Meanwhile, Jens Stoltenberg, NATO's Secretary General, has said that NATO allies have provided unprecedented military support to Ukraine, which has enabled the Ukrainians to liberate 50% of the territory that Russia occupied. NATO allies have provided unprecedented military support to Ukraine. Many partners have also provided support, <clears throat> and I am grateful for that. But when the economic uh, uh, humanitarian support to Ukraine, but when it comes to the military support, it's almost only NATO allies. 99% of the military support provided to Ukraine is provided by NATO allies. And this military support has enabled the Ukrainians to liberate 50% of the territory that Russia occupied in the beginning of the war.